हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वी हैव ऑलरेडी स्टडीड अबाउट गल्फेनोमीटर इट्स टाइप इट्स प्रिंसिपल एंड द बेसिक थ्योरी रिलेटेड विद द गल्फेनोमीटर टुडे वी विल स्टडी अबाउट द टाइप्स ऑफ द गल्फेनोमीटर व्हिच इज वाइब्रेशन गल्फेनोमीटर एज प्रिंसिपल स्पेसिफाइड दैट इट्स सप्लाई सोर्स इज एसी as i have already uh, discussed in the lecture number 1 that d r snowball galvanometer is of dc supply vibration galvanometer is of ac supply and ballistic galvanometer is also a ac supply which measures the charge of the uh, electricity so here we will study about the principle of the vibration galvanometer first of all see the construction of the galva vibration galvanometer which has a permanent magnetic poles and a bridge piece which is used for the vibration and it is a vibrator loop it is a mirror which reflects the beam of light on the scale and it is a pulley which tighten the spring and the vibrator loop as the basic principle of the galvanometer is when a current source is applied across a coil then electromagnetic field is produced in the coil which moves the coil so same principle is applicable here when the coil is moving then it creates vibration in the vibrator loop and the beam of light is passed on the mirror which reflects the vibration and the beam of light with respect to the vibration on the a scale of the, the uh, which has to be measured the uh, parameter and this spring is used for the controlling of the this vibrator loop so that its controlling torque and deflection torque should be equal so here is as already discussed that supply is of ac and the frequency range is used to measure is 5 hertz to 1000 hertz but basically we use 300 hertz for the stable operation and it has good sensitivity at 50 hertz frequency it is developed by or uh, uh, um, it is developed by max wien uh, in 1891 uh, he observed that a uh, sensitivity of detector is improved by the vibration galvanometer so the idea came into that and he created a vibration galvanometer so now come to the principal theory that supply let the value of the current passing through the moving coil at an instant t b i m sin omega t it is a sinusoidal current as you know so deflecting torque produced by the galvanometer is g i i have already derived in the previous lecture deflection torque is equals to gi and i is here i am sin omega t and g is a galvanometer constant so equation of motion it is also discussed in the previous lecture that t is a moment of inertia torque produced due to moment of inertia torque due to damping and torque due to a spring controlling torque is all equals to the deflecting torque so that a stable operation can be achieved so as you know uh, the torque due to moment of inertia is j d to theta upon dt square plus d uh, damping torque is d d theta upon dt plus k theta is your controlling torque k is your uh, controlling constant d is your damping constant and j is your inertia constant so solution of this equation is of two parts as you already studied in the mathematics that it is of two parts that is control uh, complementary function and second is your particular integral it can be solved by this method so after solving we achieve that deflection is equals to gim upon root under d omega whole square plus k minus j omega square whole square sin omega t minus alpha and alpha is the sum phase angle deflected and this amplitude is of vibration this is your amplitude of vibration 
how much it is vibrated. So we should have to achieve this amplitude is maximum. So how we can achieve this maximum? By controlling this value G or by controlling this value. So if we increase G, galvanometer constant, then it will increase or if we will decrease this value, then it will increase. Then we will derive the conditions, how it can be maximum. So first of all, we should have to increase the G, galvanometer constant. So G as we already know that G is equals to NBA. N is your number of tons, B is your flux density and A is your area of the coil. So if we increase number of tons and area of the coil, G will be increased but the moment of inertia is also increased due to heavy mass of the coil. Number of tons is increased and area increased then J is also increased. Moment of inertia constant. So this value is also should be increased because J is there. So we cannot control number of tons and A. So we have to only control the flux density as if we make flux density higher then G will be higher. Now second condition that we should have to decrease the value d omega whole square plus k minus j omega square whole square. Then how it can be decreased? As we know that damping constant is constant because it is constructed uh, how much mass is there and uh, according to that it will vibrate that should be constant moment of inertia should also be constant but we can design a spring or we can ch change the length of a spring or suspension so that it uh, constant uh, controlling constant can be changed so the whole value should be minimum so for minimum value we can put this value should equals to zero so that it will become minimum so from this here a condition has arrived that omega is equals to root under k upon j and omega is already known that 2 pi f and f is your frequency which has the value 1 upon 2 pi root under k upon j. This is the condition where the denominator should become minimum. But as we already know that for natural undamped frequency of the has a value equal to 1 upon 2 pi root under kz. So the condition has arrived that natural frequency should equal to supply frequency. So the amplitude of the vibration should be maximum. Thus how it can achieve? Thus the vibration galvanometer is tuned by changing the length and tension of the moving system in order that the natural frequency of moving system is equal to the supply frequency so that uh, a stable operation of vibration galvanometer has achieved in the